Welcome to uh, the very strange series, Twin Peaks. He's currently starring in the movie Against the Wall, which premieres this Saturday, March 26th. This is the very first time on The Tonight Show. Please welcome Kyle McLaughlin. <laughs> Brothers. Now, I was going to say, Branford and I, uh, I haven't seen him since uh, he did the music for my Tales from the Crypt episode. Oh, is that and right? And I haven't seen him since they had the screening of it. How it's you good doing? to see you, man. Well, right. we have another mutual friend, I understand, although we... Yes, we, we do. Mike Party. Yeah, right, right. He's, yeah, he's... I was uh, speaking with him today, as a matter of fact. He said your motorcycle's coming along just great. My Pope? My 18 Pope's Pope? coming along just great, yeah. And what's he building for you, a 59 Triumph? Yeah, he's rebuilding the, my... Uh, I got a TR6, and he's rebuilding the engine, and ground up, kind of. So how long have you been riding motorcycles? A long time? Uh, not too long. About three years. I oh, guess. that's all? Yeah, just three years. Well, I had a, another three years and then ten years ago. I had an experience when I was in So that would be Europe. 13 years? Well, it, you oh, can't you're off it for like that. I mean, no, actually, I took a break from motorcycles for a while. I had a, I had a, a it's kind of an interesting experience. I was, um, I, I toured through Europe. Just, oh, that's neat. Yeah, it was great, actually. I just, uh, I upped and, uh, I, actually, I had finished Dune. And I felt like I needed a, a kind of a change or something right. to sort of, you know, shock me back into my world because that was such a strange world to be in. And uh, I flew to London and um, I bought a motorcycle. Had you ever ridden a motorcycle before? No, I never had. Well, oh, no, that's a lie. No, actually, I, I one of the one of the guys that was working on the movie had a had a dirt bike and he sort of showed me the rudiments about how to do it. But the problem was when I got the bike in in England, I didn't really know how to start it, and I didn't want to let the shop owner know that I didn't know how to start it. So I was outside with the bike after he completely outfitted it, and I was, you know, I was sort of pretending like I really knew. I was really looking at the bike and saying, well, yeah, it looks okay. And finally I saw the button, and I said, okay. So I pushed it, but nothing happened. I realized you had to turn the key. Then you pushed the button, and uh, then we were off. But it was the wrong side of the road, you know, so. Yeah, something out of me, if you've never ridden a motorcycle, flying to another country where they drive on the other side of the road. <laughs> Did you have a motorcycle license? No. no. Did you have insurance? No, I didn't have insurance That's either. a wise move. I know. <laughs> no, with the whole thing, I didn't want to get into the whole insurance thing over there. You never know kind of what they're going to ask for, what they're going to, yeah. how much it's going to cost, you know. Yeah. Thought, you know, better just <laughs> better go, to take a chance. not think about it, <laughs> hope for the best, you know. Better, did you crash over there? Were you? No, well, you know, it was, for, it was a heavy, it was a big bike. Yeah. And I uh, wasn't, obviously wasn't used to that. Uh, so occasionally it would fall over on me. <laughs> and uh, so I, you know, I was always, <laughs> trying to, it's, it's a heavy bike, but there was one time I was I was on my way. I'd gotten uh, to the south of France, and uh, I was making a pretty sharp turn, and it got away from me. Right. Accelerated, bam, hit the curb, and the bike fell over, and I bent the um, I bent one of the uh, the, the brake brake uh, pedals. Brake yeah. Brake pedal. And uh, so I couldn't stop the bike, so I needed to. Um, uh, I kind of you know pushed the bike to a to a service station and and tried to communicate with the guy. Uh, who was French that uh, I, you know, El Broco, El, El Broco. Exactly, can I, uh, you know, and he was looking at me very puzzled, and I said, I need a, you know, a hammer, a ball-peen hammer or something, and he said, oh, well, 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 and he walked over, and he said, yeah, and he hand me, the, hand me this, what I was describing, <laughs> and he pointed me to a, to a little vice, and I, you know, hammered it Bent out. Bent it and back? And bent it back, and I was on my way. The, the cops didn't show up, the gendarmes? No, no, they did no. not come for me. They did yeah. not come. No. So, oh, so, so, so you, I mean, you were very lucky. I was very lucky, you were. So when did you get started in acting? Were you acting in high school? Did we... Yeah, uh, well, a little before high school, I started uh, at the insistence of my mom, which I 